Okay, welcome back. And in this section, let's look at neurotransmitters. And the neurotransmitters are the little dots that you see between the two neurons. As information travels through our body, it sends as an electrical signal down one neuron until it hits the synaptic gap. And the signal is then converted to a chemical signal and crosses the synaptic gap and is then taken up in the uptake cells of the following neuron then again converted to electrical signal. And these neurotransmitters so essentially pass information to every cell in our body. So our thinking has a lot of impact on our body as the information is passed from cell to cell. as the mind-body connection. You see when they first discovered neurotransmitters they thought that they were only in the brain. Then they thought they were only between the neurons. But then what they found is actually they are in every cell, in the uptake cell of every cell in the body. Scientists actually found that after they would removed the brains of rats, so all they did, they, they took out pieces of brain part by part and then leaving only the brainstem. And they found that these rats could actually still run the maze. Now Carl Prebram postulated uh, back in the 1960s, he postulated the holographic brain saying that memory is actually stored holographically throughout the body and not just in the brain. And so this proves the mind-body connection. And that's really important because what it says is that your thoughts and the thoughts that you hold in your mind can affect your body. How? Well, the thoughts that you hold actually move through the body and it can be transmitted and affect these neurotransmitters throughout your body. Now, if you haven't yet, then I'd highly recommend that you read Deepak Chopra's book, Quantum Healing. In there, he also talks about the neurotransmitters that bathe every cell in the body. And he calls this the mind-body connection and says that our body and our immune system is essentially eavesdropping on our thoughts. You see, these neurotransmitters act as little chemical messengers. Have you ever noticed when somebody has stinking thinking that you get those kind of stinking results. Or how people can think themselves sick. Or what about people that have healed themselves miraculously from illness where, you know, potentially they may have died by changing their thought patterns. These neurotransmitters are really important. This idea of mind-body connection is very important in how we actually speak to our body through the thoughts that we actually have. So that's neurotransmitters and in the next session we will talk about responsibility for creating value and change.